Welcome back to my channel guys. This is Nyjia here at Budgeting the Bacon where I talk about earning money, saving money, and also paying off our mortgage debt. And also I throw in a couple of haul videos as well. Today's video I'm actually going to be recapping for you all our 2020 goals as well as what we have planned for 2021. Let's go ahead and get started. For 2021 we had a couple of goals for our household and I'm going to show you all what we had and what we achieved what we didn't achieve and what we're rolling over for 2021 okay so right here as you could see make sure that you all can actually see all of this we have some 2020 goals I had everything actually written down on another sheet of paper and I cannot find it right now so if I think of something as we go along with this I'll go ahead and write it down but one of our main goals for 2020 was to fund our fully funded emergency fund. Uh, for us, six months is about $15,000 and that's bare bones minimum. Um, that's not like for any type of entertainment or anything like that. I mean, when I say bare bones minimum, that's bare bones minimum, okay? So at the start of the year, we had $11,588. And so we knew that we were probably going to end up getting a tax return and that money would go towards it as well as our paychecks. So on March 1st, 2020, we were actually able to go ahead and finish funding our fully funded emergency fund at the $15,000 mark. Um, it felt really, really good to have that money in our account. Thank goodness we have not had to touch it and I pray that we don't have to use it anytime soon because uh, it would almost kind of break my heart a little bit, you know, because we worked really, really hard and saved for a while in order to get that amount. Um, and plus, weren't making a whole lot of money. So the contributions each month weren't a lot. But so that's why it took us a little bit longer. It may not take you as long to get your fully funded emergency fund, whether it's three months or six months. But for us, it took almost just about a year in order to get this particular amount. Um, so yeah, we're super excited about that. We're happy. And we have some goals for 2021 regarding our emergency fund, which I will share after the recap of 2020. So our next goal was for our mortgage. We wanted to pay our mortgage down to $80,000 by the end of December. And so we started the mortgage balance at $93,643.25. That was like January 1st, that was the mortgage balance. And so once we finished funding our fully funded emergency fund, we went on ahead and started throwing money at our mortgage. Um, initially, we were just going to throw about $600 a month at the mortgage, um, you know, give us a little wiggle room because, you know, we had been on such a tight budget for so long just trying to get the emergency fund fully funded. You know, we was like, oh, we're just gonna try and, you know, enjoy a couple things, buy a couple things. Um, and then the pandemic happened. <laughs> so it was like, all of that was pretty much thrown out of the window. So we kind of went into like storm mode or saving mode and actually put a pause on paying extra on the mortgage and then just kind of had that money sitting in, in an account just to kind of wait and see how things played out pretty much. So um, once we saw that things were kind of settling a little bit, we went on ahead and started throwing money back at the mortgage in addition to what we had in the savings account. And so by October 1st, we made our goal of reaching $80,000 balance on our mortgage, okay? which was, it was kind of crazy and it was kind of unbelievable, but I mean, I guess I can understand it because we weren't really doing much of anything, you know, because of the shelter in place and, you know, all of that stuff. I don't know where you guys live, but it seemed like we were on shelter in place for the longest amount of time. Um, things are open up now, but it's still, it's just, it's not the same. But anyway, so our ending balance for December 31st is 
xx dot xx i don't know the exact number but when i do my mortgage update three video which i'll be putting out this week i will make sure i share that and whatever extra money that we put towards it for the month of december um, and I'll link up in the iCard, the last video that I did, if you want to go ahead and check that out as well. Something else that we wanted to do for 2020 was we, we planned on taking trips. We had not had like really a trip or anything like that prior to 2020. Uh, so we decided that we were going to do a cruise and then we were also going to do a or actually, we were also going to go to Boston because that is where my mother-in-law lives. Well, we didn't either. Uh, so we ended up not doing the cruise. We ended up not going to Boston. We just kind of ended up doing like some local spots here where we live at. Uh, we took our boys to Jellystone uh, Camp Resort. We did that twice. So that's pretty much like the extent of the trips of the, or the vacations that we did. Um, and that was, I mean, really, that was almost like the only thing that was almost open besides the water parks. Uh, so we did lots of just going to the regular park, you know, keeping our distance from people and stuff like that. And just basically staying at the house. So we didn't do the trips at all. So we're just going to put an X right there. And so that brings us to another recap goal that we had for 2020, which was my husband has been wanting a shed uh, with some paved slab in our backyard. And we've actually been talking about this for like maybe the last two years or so. So I really thought that this or last year, 2020, was going to be the year that we got it done. But that was not the case whatsoever. Uh, we did look at a couple of sheds. We did have some or a pre-quote prior to 2020 that told us how much everything was going to cost. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the same amount now because it was 4,000 then. And, you know, once everything started happening and people started doing DIY projects at home and stuff like that, the prices have skyrocketed, I've heard, for any type of supplies, okay? Any type of anything for home improvement. So I don't know how much it's going to be. I'm just going to go ahead and mark that off. All right, which brings us to 2021.